Beneath the veneer of skepticism, reality bears witness to chilling truth. In the haunting corridors of history, where shadows dance with undeniable evidence, remember this, the stories are true. Prepare for a revelation, where the supernatural is stripped of fiction, and the unknown is laid bare. Are you ready to confront the undeniable? The stories are true, and the echoes of reality await. In the shadowed halls of Featherstone Castle, a tale unfolds like a chilling whisper from the past. Abigail Featherstonehoff, a reluctant bride, walked the cold stone aisle with a heart tangled in regret. The vows she uttered were not for the man before her, but for another. Ridley, a local boy who ignited the flames of her true passion. 17th century England, where the iron grip of familial arrangements left no room for choice. Baron Featherstonehoff, her father, orchestrated the union, binding Abigail to a local duke in unholy matrimony. The ceremony took place on a bright and deceptive day, concealing the darkness that would soon engulf Featherstone Castle. A grand banquet awaited the returning hunting party. But as daylight succumbed to the claws of night, the revelry turned to unease. The Baron, anxious and enraged, dispatched a search party into the abyss of his vast grounds. The hours stretched and the cold winds whispered tales of impending doom. Horses returned, but not with the triumphant echoes of a successful hunt. Instead, they carried the anguished cries of the departed. Pink and Clough, a densely wooded realm, became the stage for a tragic confrontation. Ridley, consumed by love and despair, led a merciless ambush against the bridal entourage. In the brutal dance of steel, Ridley's love, Abigail, became an unwitting sacrifice. A sword, unsheathed in fury, pierced her, severing the thread of her mortal existence. Ridley, the last man standing, succumbed to the weight of his actions, ending his own tortured existence. The returning hunting party, no longer of the living, manifested as tortured apparitions. Wounds, missing limbs, and severed heads bore witness to the macabre tale that unfolded that fateful night. Abigail, with her belly torn open by her husband's blade, stood as a haunting reminder of the consequences of denying true love. Every 17th of January, their spectral presence echoed through the castle, a relentless reminder of the folly that had transpired. The Baron, deaf to the pleas of his daughter, suffered the torment of their wails until his own heart succumbed to the weight of his arrogance. But the horror did not end there. Ravenstone, near Pinkenclaw, cradled the blood of Ridley as he breathed his last. Ravens, harbingers of death, feasted on the carrion and drank from the cursed stone. On every 17th of January, the ominous gathering of ravens would repeat a dark communion with Ridley's blood as they called for his lost love to join him in the afterlife. Perhaps, in a realm beyond ours, Abigail and Ridley now share an eternal feast, and the ghastly echoes that reverberate through Featherstone Castle are the twisted remnants of a love that death could not sever. Thanks for joining us on this eerie adventure. If you enjoyed the chills, don't forget to subscribe. More mysteries await. Until next time, thanks for watching, and stay curious.